Hey guys, on today's IGL podcast, we're going to talk about the Video Game History Foundation. No, I'm not reading from a cue card. It's not a cue card. Hello and welcome to another episode of the IGL podcast. Exactly the 5,000th episode we've ever made. That's an exaggeration. Is that true? Is no. That, they, they thought there was a flyer. Like 3, not a flyer, but a banner outside. It doesn't matter. My name is Kyle Duncan Graham. And I'm AJ. And we are here to talk about... Well, we're here to talk about the sad departure of Justin. I he's know. now he's died. He's just is that gone also forever. Not true? Um, that's wrong? I mean, I may I, have done off he's with not... him so I could have his you... position. What? I mean, what? Fine by me. All right. More room in the studio to breathe right here at the Hollywood Redux Studios. <sighs> God, I get to stretch now. But I really can finally though, be me. We miss you, Justin. We miss you. Come back to your us. Grave, your grave site's a beautiful place. <laughs> But yeah. Like fresh daffodils. So, uh, so what are we daffodils. talking about today? I want to talk about the Video Game History Foundation. I want to talk about that too. Uh, it's a, what do they say, a 501c3 nonprofit that is here to actually archive every, the goal is to archive every video game ever made, all of the promotional materials that were made for video games, like yeah. just the idea and the art. And the industry behind it. Which and I'm surprised they haven't done this already. I thought that too. I thought maybe that would be a thing that the Library of Congress mm-hmm. would have done. Because yeah. isn't it that the Library of Congress tries to keep pieces of art that are important to the United States. And like yeah. they have like a copy of... And, and God forbid, I God forbid I say something wrong on the internet. <laughs> but, but I think... Wouldn't that be don't, terrible? <laughs> oh, but... <laughs> I thought they like would like try to keep a copy of like every movie made. So yeah. like there's these there's a record of all of yeah. this stuff. And, and it does bother me that they haven't done this with video games. It bothers I me too. I wonder I don't know why they haven't. Um I wonder if it's because people don't maybe some people don't see video games as like an art form. Ding ding ding. That's ding, it. Ding. That's um, that's exactly why. Because they which, don't feel that it's been it's either lowbrow art or not even worth paying attention yeah. to. And which I, I think, think is completely wrong. What is completely wrong? And, like, b- I, don't, I don't know which viewpoint's worse is thinking that it's lowbrow and not worth paying attention to or actively, like, not paying attention <laughs> to it, saying that it wasn't even worth thinking that it was bad. Like, but some people here do clearly care about it. You can go to www.gamehistory.org and you can hear all about their, their mission. You can also, there's a crowdfunding link that's there yeah. that you can help support them. Now... AJ, we yes. both agree that this is a cool thing that this should be. I think it's a cool thing. I think what a lot of people are not taking into consideration is the extensiveness that it takes to make a video game. It's right. not just, you know, hey, let's put something up on a screen. I mean, there's right. there's uh, creativity that's involved in storytelling. There's <clears throat> the... Uh, um, coding side, when it comes to like computer coding, sure. that in and of itself is like insane. And and just you know marketing this that. There's so many facets of it. It's it's fascinating. And some people will look at it as like a, a time suck, as like oh something that's just gonna right. you know uh, ruin kids' brains as they grow up and play video. And it, I mean, I'm and like, it has. Let's. <laughs> it's totally totally ruined my yeah. precious little. Three pound fat ball inside the two, skull pocket. Two pound fat ball. Is it just two? Yeah, just two. Was it mine that's only two and yours is three? Is Mine's four. Say? Buck. No, I there you're absolutely right about that. The amount of the amount of work that goes into making a game and no one really thinks about that. I guess I didn't really start noticing credits at video games until I got, I don't know, like in my teens and I started like, oh, the credits to this are are literally twice as long as any film yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. And the amount of work that goes into it, we should be at the very least, we should be appreciating those people who do work Absolutely. so hard and everything that goes into making something like that exist. It's not just... I, I think video games can sort of feel like a singular experience because for so long it was a thing you just played by yourself. Mm-hmm. And me as a retro gamer, that's that is that's how I'm used to playing video games. Screen, by myself, maybe with some friends in a room. But like when you go see a film or mm-hmm. you like see a play... You have to experience that with other people. I mean, now with film, you experience that less now with video on demand and stuff. But typically, you have to go to a place and do that with everyone. So you sort of get the idea that community is involved in Uh not just the ingestion of the art, but in the experience of it. And I think it feels like it's taken too long for people to appreciate video games and what they are. And I think that the mission of this, the foundation, is very, very good. Now, it Mm -hmm. says... They want to do two things, and they, they're they really worried about time constraints. And right there on the okay. website in their mission statement, it says they want to preserve 
Uh, they want to preserve games and game relics mm -hmm. that are that are in danger of being lost. So the things that aren't on oh. eternal format, mm -hmm. like things that are only on CD-ROM or things that are only in like a weird little cartridge. Maybe or like blah, blah, blah. the old Atari system. Things that like that. My dad right. has just sitting in the garage. Shout Atari. out to my dad. We've, I've never seen it. Shout out it's to your like pops. buried way in hey, there. Hey, AJ's pops. Why don't you? Why don't you break that thing out? Why don't you break it out, Daddy? Play a little yeah. bit of a uh, ping pong. Do do do. I would love that. So what games, since they are, they only have this bizarre time constraint, which does make sense, actually. Uh -huh. They also said they want, the other thing they want to do is start saving, like, promotional items and marketing material and that stuff like that. That is really cool, because, I mean, they have, they have stores dedicated to just, like... Yeah. Video game merchandise, I mean, or, or um, collectibles. Yeah. But I think it's part of the whole culture. Uh, right. I mean, honestly... I don't think that there's probably one gamer out there that doesn't have at least one collectible. And if you do, hit Even us up, let us know. We want to see your weird collectibles, actually. That's really good. Oh, Why don't you hit us see, up on yeah. Twitter, on the Instas, and all the socials, on a better Friendster. <laughs> <laughs> and then just uh, send that to us. Uh, is our Friendster, is, who's got the Friendster? Any, no? <coughs> Don't send it to Friendster. It's not. It's I've not never. I don't even know what Friendster is. You don't know what Friendster is. is. <laughs> MySpace. I got. I got a MySpace call. Shall Tom, we totally check us out. On Tom, get the MySpace. fuck out of here. LinkedIn. <laughs> if, if it's Tom from MySpace, who is it from LinkedIn? Like Murray. <laughs> Hi, I'm Murray from LinkedIn. Send me a resume just for shits and giggles. Um, for shiggles. Shiggles. <laughs> so I mean, I think, I think that would be really cool. And also, the reason that that fascinates me not just as like having a copy of the game, but uh -huh. like. Having marketing material is, if you ever go through online and like look at an old copy of like Nintendo Power uh -huh. and look at that, have you ever done the thing where you like watch like watch like Saturday morning cartoons? Well, that doesn't really exist, I mean, but if obviously. you go to like go to like uh, Cartoon Network or something yeah. and you watch like advertisement for children where they like yes. where they market like candy, yes, and like look at those ads, you're like these were all made by people who did mushrooms and speed <laughs> at the same time and went out to the Mojave Desert and just wrote down ideas. Like, they're all really creepy and awful. I... And that's, I want to go back and see a lot of those old video game ads. Like, if you go back and look at old, like, Game Boy ads and, like, Sega advertising, you you wonder how the hell they ever sold anything to anyone. Anyway. So, guys, please, you can go to Redux Gear, buy a shirt, you can make Mushroom Kingdom great Absolutely again. Absolutely, you can. You absolutely can. And, of course... We are coming from HollywoodRedux.com. Thank you so much for... I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to do this. It's okay. Salute. I didn't mean to... Okay. From all of us Beautiful. here. My name's Kyle. <laughs> My gamer tag is somewhere down here. At <laughs> I Champion. You can find me on PSN, but mostly just farming on Stardew Valley. And what's your online gamer tag nerd stuff? I'm not telling you. Fine. But I'll tell them. It's LissaJ89 <sighs> on Twitter. Oh, you can find me on Twitter, Flock88. On the gaming world. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. I forgot. You can mm. follow my... You can follow my very... Uh, Gross Twitter account <laughs> at K Duncan G, but of course, please, guys, do not forget to turn into the K files yes! tomorrow. It's going to be big, big stuff. But uh, you know, from all of us here, we'd like to say, rest in peace, Justin Gentile. Rest in peace. <laughs> we'll but, forever remember you. That's right, forever. We're never going to forget. We're going to put you in the Video Game History Foundation. IGL you... Hall of Fame. You're the first one, that's buddy. That's right. We're going to put your name up as Mario. You Long Island piece of garbage. Fucking Mario. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, thanks very much for watching that video. If you liked it, why don't you give it a big old thumbs up and then go ahead and subscribe and take a look at all the other videos that we have available right here. Or maybe over here. I don't know how YouTube does their ads anymore. I'm confused. I'm lost. I'm in the fifth dimension. <laughs>